Hello, I am Sinfogel. Today we are covering Entei, its October 2021 event missions. For these missions, you have to defeat Entei Part 3 with 9 single pairs or less, and your teams must include 3 Kanto, Gym Leader, and Water Theme Skills. We will do all missions in the same run. A summary for Entei is that it loves buffing creep, and it attacks with constant spread damage. Entei can inflict trap and burn, and it also debuffs defenses. Entei is also particularly vulnerable to flinches. Your main team should take all these traits into account. For this video, we are going to focus on using currently available resources to defeat Entei after using a debuffing team. If you have a competent water type striker, you should use them instead. If you are struggling, it's highly recommended that you bring a sync pair capable of flinching. That will make things a lot easier. Alright. The first thing we're going to do is uh, perform a rudimentary stall. I don't normally recommend doing this against Entei, because at one point in the fight, this guy maximizes its critical hit rate, and crits bypass defensive buffs and debuffs. So debuffing Entei is kinda pointless, however, we have to push Kanto theme skills as well as some damage before bringing the main team. And uh, I think uh, Bad Poison is uh, the easiest way to get there. So here we have uh, Base Misty, Koga and Yami. You don't have to grid Misty or Koga for this to work, uh, but you should level them up to level 120 at least. You want to use Misty's turn move on herself as well as Koga, so he can restore some health. While Janin performs debuffs, Koga does the heavy lifting with Ben Shock, so the longer he survives, the better. As long as you get reasonably close to 50% health, you should be good to go. And for the second and final team, we have uh, Torchic, Swimsuit Misty, and uh, Crusher Wake. I built this team based around accessibility. Torchic is free to play, and not having Crusher Wake is borderline impossible <laughs> if you have done a few multis, and uh, Swimsuit Misty is currently running. And her event drops Sin Corps, so this team has no opportunity cost. So, the basis of this strat is that we are going to have Misty work as a pseudo striker. Sinking with her is very useful because she has a synchro healing, so she can continuously restore the party's health. And she can do super effective damage, so her sync can do some decent numbers. Hence why I brought the Torchic. If Misty wants to strike, she needs a special attack and a crit buffs. However, Misty alone won't be able to push enough damage before Entei gets out of hand. So Crusher Wake is here to help out. Crusher Wake has always been a cheese for Entei because he has Aggravation 1 Waterfall. This means he has a 40% chance to flinch Entei, and Entei really doesn't like flinches. When it comes to flinching, you want to queue your flinching turn last. So your turn order should be Torchic, Misty, and then Crusher Wake. Because in the scenario where Crusher Wake flinches, you can stick extra attacks with Misty and Torchic. So, Broken Flinch will give you a lot of breathing room. Now, the caveat here is that Misty needs Vigilance. This is a lucky skill from Creamy Cookies. At 50% health, Entei maximizes its critical hit rate, 
and uh, at the last hellbar Entei spams uh, some very strong attacks. If you cannot get Vigilance for Misty, then you should be using a different strat uh, like uh, Sycamore Pool Cyrus. But if uh, push comes to shove, we still have uh, 3 slots left uh, to complete uh, the event missions. And you can bring whatever you want, uh, because uh, we are done with team skills here. Also, as a minor node, uh, my Torchic has a Defense Crush 2 as a lucky skill. This normally doesn't matter, but Torchic spammed enough attacks that it dropped Entei to minus 6 defense, <laughs> and that really helps crash away this damage. So, if you can give Defense Crush 1 to Torchic as a minimum, that will help a lot. On the final Hellbar, you want to make sure you heal Crusher Wake is born, because Heatwave will burn the entire party. If a Misty goes down, then Crusher Wake can go for a Hail Mary through flinches. As long as he manages to push Entei really low health, then you can use a final team to grab it and zap. If you are having issues with the final team, I would recommend using Wickstrom. The reason is that he has innate vigilance, and with some practice he can block Entei's attacks to give your striker enough time to finish the fight. But well, that's everything regarding Entei. People like to say this guy is easy, but if you miss the Cyrus, you may struggle here. So, I hope this video helps him. Take care, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you another time.